So here at the Governor School of Art, our visual arts department is very exciting. Um, we have five very interesting majors. We have architecture, ceramics, media arts, painting, photo, and sculpture. When students come to the PGSA, a lot of the visual arts students aren't well versed in a lot of the art forms that they come to study in. So for instance, you might have a painting student who will come and learn a little bit about architecture, or you might have a student that has a background in sculpture who wants to try something different into painting. So we really, really encourage the students to go beyond their comfort zone and to do an art form beyond what they're usually used to. One of the things the school has are several unique tools that a lot of students haven't used before or may not be available to them back at home. After students are done with their art piece, we may ask them to pin them up on the board and have students to really talk to find out what the thought process is. It's really not always about the product and result, it's about the process. And we like to see how the students are thinking because we know we can take this design process or this act of creating and apply it to a variety of different art forms. In the painting studio, we do a lot of uh, studies and experimental projects. We, um, we're working a lot with balance and color and movement, like moving the paint around the piece, just because we're really learning about what makes a good painting and what makes a bad painting. Um, in ceramics, we're essentially making clay, our, our canvas, and um, we're, we're working with textures and all sorts of glazes and the chemistry that goes into those glazes. We're learning about different firing techniques, how to think more conceptually about um, the sculptural things. We're learning more um, of the technology that has now come out of photography and everything. Um, digital photography, Photoshop, uh, brand new lab. Now we're working on video, like video editing with Adobe Premiere. Right now we're doing stone sculptures. We get soapstone and we get jade, green. How to safely use tools, how to put together certain materials, how to work with shape, form, movement. And the big difference with sculpture compared to most work is you have to actually work 3D. You have to go all the way around your piece, make sure it works from every angle. We did little mini projects, like we built uh, miniature scales with cardboard and styrofoam. Uh, we made a light box focused on how space could articulate light, not specifically the space itself. Um, we built cardboard chairs. All the visual artists take drawing, even photographers, and drawing is kind of something that you, we all use, everyone has to use it. And in the class, we've done everything from draw from life, draw skeletons, draw how to show movement in trees, how to draw opposite-handed. And he kind of pushes us beyond what we normally do. He tries to show us different types of printing. We get to paint our own umbrellas, which all hang from the ceiling in the final show. The application process may seem intimidating at first. It may seem like there's a lot of work to go into it, but. If you're really involved in what you do, it's, it's nothing. Um, what we had to do was we had to submit, uh, I think it was eight to ten pieces of a portfolio of art. Um, different mediums, if we could, different uh, styles, and uh, just that and uh, an essay, a short essay about why we wanted to be, why we wanted to come here, and why we wanted to be an artist. And um, that got sent to a certain committee, and they chose from that committee a certain amount of people to go on to the interview. And when we got there, um, we laid out we lay out our um, our portfolio, and we all ran into a room, and they gave us a prompt, and we had to um, draw for two and a half hours. And they said, "Okay, here's your prompt. This is what you're going to do." As and as we were drawing, they took us out one by one and gave us, just talked to us about our portfolio. And we brought our sketchbooks too, and they got to look at that, so that was pretty cool. 